Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be looking at the accessibility wizard on a Windows XP machine and I'm specifically going to be looking at that wizard for people with a visual impairment. Okay, so let's start it up. To go to the wizard, the accessibility wizard, we need to go to the control panel which is opening for us and then here on the bottom right accessibility options and then we go to configure windows to work for your vision, hearing and mobility. So the wizard is essentially, um, it's got four or five or even six screens for us with a few questions on each screen and we basically select the most appropriate answer to their questions and then the wizard adapts the computer display accordingly. So the first thing is about text. Can you use, can you read the usual text size or large windows and menus or do you need to use magni Microsoft Magnifier? The Microsoft Magnifier is built into XP so it's free and it creates this box on the screen and everything in that box is magnified. So you're really, the people who are using magnifiers or Microsoft magnifiers tend to be those whose eyesight is on the poorer end of the visual impairment scale. The next question is about the size of the text and how you're going to do this on your screen. It can change the font size for us or we can actually lower the screen resolution. Now if we change the font size then what appears in the title bars, the menus um, will actually increase but it doesn't then increase the size of text inside of Windows themselves. Whereas if we go for it, if we switch to a lower screen resolution basically everything becomes larger including the text inside Windows or we can opt to use Microsoft Magnifier, which I explained earlier. And I will also create another video where I look in a bit more depth um, at Microsoft Magnifier. So watch out for that one on the channel if you're very interested in how that works and how to use it. Okay, the next screen for us, I'm actually going to select this one. I am blind or I have difficulty seeing things on the screen. As I said, I want to set this wizard up as if I've got a visual impairment. Okay, so we'll look at the size of the scroll bars and the window borders. So you've got here obviously normal size going across the right hand side to very large. I'm going to choose the second smallest which is highlighted in blue. Okay, now we need to select the size of the icons that we want. So I'm going to go for large icons. So if we look at our what's on our screen now. As we change, so, so the display changes with us. So look, if we go there for large and there for extra large. So I'm going to go for large. Okay, the next options for us is all about the colour scheme. So let's have a look at these. We've got high contrast one, yellow on black, high contrast two, green on black, high contrast black, which is white on black, and high contrast white, which is black on white. So I'm going to concentrate on, and if we were to choose that, either of them, it would then change immediately. There we go. And what's also nice is we've got a back button so if we suddenly start to get a little bit scared that it's the wrong one we can just choose the next one and it will move it all back for us okay so there is as well as there being a next button to take us forward to the next part of the wizard we can always use the back button as well okay the next screen in fact let us go for high contrast black like that okay the next part of the screen is about our mouse cursor going across the white uh, the right from going across to the right we've got a choice of the color of it white black or inverting 
and going from top to bottom we've got the size of it regular large or extra large so I also need white if I've chosen black and I want to be able to see the mouse cursor I need to see white so I'm going to choose white large and you can see on the screen that because I've made the selection it's in grey and again you can actually see that my mouse cast my if I take us back actually let's have a look if we go to regular you can see it changing here as I make a change so if in fact if I do extra large there you can see that the cursor is very very big but let's stick back with the large one and go to the next one okay this is all about the behavior of the cursor and the appearance of it so the top bar here we slide it to the left and the cursor's blink rate slows right down as you can see on the screen. Slide it to the right and the blink rate gets incredibly fast. And I actually find that faster blink rate harder to look at to say the truth. I would tend to be in the middle or more to the left. So we'll do it there. And then we've got the cursor width. If we take it to the left, the cursor gets very, very narrow, as we can see. Or if we slide it to the right, it gets thicker and thicker and thicker. And I think I'll just leave this about three quarters so it's on the thicker side, the wider side of the cursor. And you can see what it looks like on the screen in front of us. And then the final screen just highlights the changes that we've made um, so I've changed color schemes the mouse cursor scheme the cursor width and the cursor blink rate and remember that we can go back through all of our options if we're not sure about it because the wizard is dynamic and by that I mean it changes things as it goes along it means that if you make a change and then you've decided and then you realize that you've made the wrong change you can then easily kind of alter the change and just do another select another option okay and then to finish it all we go to finish so there we go this video I've highlighted the accessibility wizard for an XP machine and I've set it up looking at some of the options that a visually impaired person might need thank you for watching if you've got any criticisms or questions leave them in the comments below and i will hopefully get back to you thank you for watching